want to see me mad I'll be coming with that payback You don't want to taste that Don't want to see me on attack Trust me, you don't want to face that Adrenaline, I crave that Yeah, you know I'm nasty I'm about to be a savage When I want it, better have it Nothing's getting past me About to take this to the mat And you'll be wishing you could take it back here yeah. Like an assassin, I'm praying I gotta act on a craving I'm coming after, I'm chasing I'm gonna capture a race And yeah, those who cross me You'll be crossed off Cause I'm plotting About to pop off You can't stop me Winning is exhausting Yo, what's up, guys? Local Joe here. Welcome to the Go Home Show before Warzone or the Warzone pay per view, which is going to be this Sunday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard, 5 p.m. Eastern, live right here on Twitch and on Kick. The following contest scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring first. He is the chosen one, Tyler. Come on, let's go. Oh, got the hiccups. Oh, nice. That was a big hiccup. Well, we are kicking things off with the man who debuted in LCW, was it last week? Last Friday, I want to say? No, wait. No, last Monday. Was it last Monday? No. Point is, he debuted about a, about a week ago, a couple weeks ago, and looking to redeem himself after losing in his debut to King Showtime. His opponent being accompanied by the Lobos. He is the LCW Intercontinental Champion, Ray Wolf. Now we're talking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ray Wolf, who we don't know if he's going to defend his title at Warzone. Maybe if Tyler wins, then he'll get a shot at Warzone. If not, then we're gonna I'll do a like a gauntlet match on Friday, like a six pack challenge, six pack gauntlet match. To see who will face Ray Wolf for the Intercontinental title this Sunday at Warzone. Oh, big boot. And now Tyler with the grounded pound. We know who the Lobos will be defending their tag team titles against. Or actually, no, we don't. We're gonna, we are gonna find out later on between the Wolfpack Mafia and Heatwave. The winner of that match will face the Lobos this Sunday for the World Tag Titles. I was thinking of the 
women world tag titles. We already know who's going to be fighting for those. And that's the DeWinter Twins. Tyler definitely showing or yeah, showing a lot more offense than he did in his debut. And now he's got the baseball bat. Sixty, or as he likes to call it, the T three sixty. Crash and burn, but still got enough. And right now, the IC champ is in trouble. Oof. Busted open after those baseball bat shots to the head. Oh, and the, the Glasgow kiss. And now Ray is pissed off now. Clothesline by Tyler. And another one. And that trip up. One, two. And there's a big Cholo distracting him. Oh, and Tyler saw it coming. He knew. He knew Ray was going to try to sneak up on him. And now Tyler going to the top rope. Tight rope. And an elbow. And now going to the top rope again. Four fifty elbow, two, three. Tyler pins the Intercontinental Champion, and well, looks like we know who Ray Wolf's gonna be defending his Intercontinental Title against this Sunday. Here is your winner, Tyler. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is a tag team match. Making their way to the ring first, representing Toxic Attraction. Amber and Amanda, the DeWinter Twins. Come on, let's go.
the Winter Twins who will be fighting for the LCW Women's World Tag Team titles this Sunday against Platinum and Low London. Should be one hell of a world tag team title match between these four LCW OGs. And her opponent first, or and their opponents first. She is Sophia. Sophia, who debuted against, who made her debut at Local Mania against Amanda De Winters. Getting the victory over Amanda De Winters. And Amanda De Winters was not happy about that loss. Got some revenge the next night on Mayhem. And her tag team partner, she is Salina. Salina will be getting her rematch for the women's European title this Sunday against Colleen Masters. Not gonna lie, my neck just cracked. <laughs> Oh. Irish whip. Oh. Sophia choking her out with her with her boot. To Amanda De Winters, I believe that's who it is. Selena tagged into the match. Bouncing her head off the LCW logo in the middle of the mat. Oh my god. So I'm gonna have to fucking edit that later on. Thanks, OBS. Fucking disconnecting for no goddamn reason. That's the second time OBS disconnected on me. Disconnected on me last night when I was recording my 
my gameplay for Fortnite when I was playing with my co-workers. Amanda De Winter's got Sophia in her corner. Oh, trip up by Amber. Goes for the quick pin. <laughs> go home. Exactly. This is the go home show of Mayhem. What the hell is wrong with Amanda? She's like, do I go left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? <laughs> well, that's one way of getting her off. And Sophia tagging in Selena. Irish whip. Kick by Amber. <laughs> Trying to go for the rear view. But Amber saw it coming. Hits it with the Russian leg sweep and the ground and pound right after. Dropping the knee. This is a normal one on or tag match, so they have have a wait or they have to get in by the count of ten. Oh, double count out. So it is a no contest draw. Oh, and they're the tag team champions. They're their opponent this Sunday at Warzone. Oh, and there's the World Heavyweight Champion attacking me during my entrance. As I go one on one with the man I def or lost my world title to at local mania to kick off season eight mass terror oh mass terror taking advantage of that attack no oh.
Chris Danger, who's going to be in the main event. Later on, going up against Pharaoh West. Such weak stuff. Chris Danger, who's going to be defending that world title this Sunday in a triple threat match against myself and Mass Terror. Mass Terror, <laughs> Mass, I was gonna say Mass Terrible. Mass Terror in total control after that. That attack during my entrance by the world heavyweight champion, Chris Danger. Ooh, springboard drop kick. Finally getting some offense in. Another drop kick that did nothing. There's a couple of elbows. Then a Pele kick. That drops him. One. Two. Ooh. And deep six goes for the pin. Now, going for the three amigos. Ooh, and the kip up. And now, looking for the Kelly splash. Ooh, one, two. And there's the lion salt. And another one. Oh, Mass Terra with a nice counter into an arm drag takedown. He's looking for that terror claw. And DDT. And another deep six. One. Oof. And there's the terror slam. Oh. No, oh, no, the Terror Claw. Slam. And that's it. <laughs> Took two Terror Slams in a row. Woo. Oh, Mass Terror with the clothesline. Is the big man looking to fly? See that all the time by Mass Terror. Crowd loving this match between these two rivals. We saw on Friday during Mass Terror's match in the main event in his rematch against Mufasa, which he did get his revenge and got the win. But during the match, Chris Danger's music hit and he tried to distract Mass Terror. And it, all it did was piss Mass Terror off and help him get the win against Mufasa. So, I mean, you have 
Chris Danger interfering in Max Hera's match on Friday and then interfering in my match right now. So it's not looking so good for him. Yo! Was it Gab Gabster? Gabsmer? Gabsmer. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the raid, man. Appreciate ya. Let me give you a quick shout out real quick. ACW Raid, let's go. Oh, there's the fucking Terror Claw, the most OP submission move in the fucking, well, ever. Every 2K game, that claw move, always instant win. Here is your winner by submission, Mask Terror. What a win. How's the stream so far? It's going, well, I had one little, well, in the middle of a tag match earlier, my OBS decided to fucking crash. Well, just disconnect. And, like, that was the only freaking thing. But everything else, it's been great. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate the raid, man. And by the way, I gave you a follow. I'm going to have to stop by, check out one of your ACW shows. So yes, already in the ring, Brooke Danger. Former LCW Intercontinental Champ. And her opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, Hot Atlanta, Lola. Buns. Thanks for the follow, Hurdle. Appreciate you. Always live every Wednesday and Fridays. Tonight was just a hiccup stream. So your sh your shows are on Wednesdays and Fridays. Nice. My shows, obviously, Mondays and also on Fridays. And then my pay-per-views are on Sundays. So we got Brooke Danger. Who's going to get her rematch for the women's intercontinental title this Sunday at Warzone. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate you. Up oh, here, are the creepers in the crowd already. They're they go wild during these female matches. And Brooke with the early submission, using my submission hold, the local lock right there. And Lola putting Brooke in the tree of whoa. Irish whip. By the way, how was your stream, man? How was your hiccup stream? Speaking of hiccups, earlier I had the hiccups. <laughs> and Lola going for the pin. So yes, this Sunday is my, I guess, technically second pay-per-view of the season. Stream on well, surprisingly. Never stream on Mondays. I never stream this late until I started my job, which I get out of work like around 7. 30 p.m. So I do LCW like at 8 p.m. So like right when I get home, start streaming. Usually I sh 
Well, last season, I was streamed in the morning before I went to work. And this season, I decided to stream after work. So far, I actually like streaming after work. And now I can call my shows Monday Night Mayhem, Friday Night Mayhem, instead of Monday Morning Mayhem and Monday Morning or Friday Morning Chaos. But yeah, if you don't know who I, met, who I am, my name is Local Joe. I stream, obviously, my own wrestling promotion on WWE 2K games. But I also stream Fortnite, Battlefield, you know, any of the Resident Evil games. A, a variety streamer, that's what I am. But since LCW season's back, I mostly stream this. And then like on the weekends, I'll stream like Fortnite or something. Never Call of Duty anymore. Call of Duty, I don't even touch that anymore. Oh, and there's the taste, the danger to Lola. One, two, three. I know Selena Perez is in the back watching this match very closely because Lola is one of her opponents this Sunday at Warzone. See if Lola could connect with the bunny shot. Ooh. Lola, who's starting this season off on fire, winning actually so far, winning every single match. All right. Episode 5 of Season 8. I believe she's like 5-0 and to start the... Or not 5-0, and 4-0 to start the season. Could be 5-0. and So what time do you usually... You usually stream your shows on Wednesdays? At Fridays. Ooh, Swan Tom Bomb by Lola. One, two, three, and Lola. Five and oh this season to kick off um, season eight. Here is your winner, Lola Buns. Usually 8.30. PM Eastern. Nice, nice. So 5.30 for me. And no problem, man. Appreciate the raid, man. You have a great rest of your night. And everybody who's sticking around, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. The following contest is a number one contenders match for the world tag team titles making their way to the ring first they are or joseph and jay cruz they are heat wave
who's gonna face the Lobos at at Warzone this Sunday for the World Type World Tag Team Titles. Walker and OJJ. They are the Wolf Pack Mafia. <laughs> Don't do it. Creepers don't want the Mafia to become number one contenders, apparently. Anthony Walker and Jay Cruz started things off in this number one contenders tag team match. J. Cruz, oh, OJJ with a nice counter. OJJ who made his return to LCW this past Friday on Chaos. Oh yeah, tonight was the end of the WWE draft on Raw. And speaking of that, I will be doing my own little draft to separate the rosters. So we'll have a Mayhem roster and a Chaos roster. And I will do that after the pay-per-view on Sunday. Because right, right now, you know, it's a free-for-all. You know, anybody could, you know, go on any show right now. But after Sunday, then we're gonna have superstars exclusive to one brand. It's like the only superstars that can go on both brands, what well, will be on both brands are the world champions. The world heavyweight champ, the women's world champ and the world tag team champs and the women world tag champs but the intercontinental and the women's intercontinental will stay on mayhem and the european uh, title and the women's european champion will stay on chaos yo what up mr big how's it going man How the show's been. Chilling, working. Yeah, I just got home from work about an hour ago. I just started streaming this.
This is a number one contenders match to see who will face the Lobos for the World Tag Team titles this Sunday at Warzone. OJJ grabbing the kendo stick. Oh! <laughs> and Jay Cruz hitting all concrete right there. I do have roster spots. <clears throat> OJJ tagging in Anthony Joseph Cruz. Looking for a weapon. Anthony Walker and Joseph Cruz. No, not strangers to each other. They know each other very well. Fighting for the world championship at one point. It, do it doesn't matter. Right now it's... Like I have a pretty even of like female and male superstars. Oh, and OJJ looking for that clothesline from hell. And a snap suplex. Who's going to punch their ticket to Warzone this Sunday? Oh, shotgun dropkick by J Joseph Cruz. And, oh. Joseph Cruz with a nice counter into a clothesline. <gasps> ah, here comes the hiccups. Ah. So glad that I refilled my water bottle last night. Ooh. And Che Cruz, feast your eyes. And OJJ breaking it up, saving his chances, his team's chances, to go into war zone. Oh, and Joseph Cruz, or OJJ with a cheap shot to Joseph Cruz as he was going outside. Joseph Cruz 
fighting with OJJ on the outside. Let's get to the drone footage. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Sledgehammer shot by Joseph Cruz. Ground and pound by, by Jay Cruz. Barely got enough, almost landing on that trash can. Oh yeah, Mr. Big, if you want to use my character, well, I'm gonna re-upload him. Cause I updated him recently. But yeah, I'll upload him tonight if you want to use him. Taking out Joseph Cruz with that apron DDT. And now taking taking care of both heat wave members. Oh, with the power bomb on the concrete. them with the trash can. And there's the hot tag in OJJ. Springboard clothesline. And there's the clothesline from hell. One, two, three. Almost found out our, the Lobo's next opponents. One, two, to the gut. Let's see if OJJ connects with the whipper snapper. Oh, but he got connected with the big boot instead. <sighs> Sorry, I had to let my cat out of my room. Oh, 
I could see Rob Stone racking up. Lost his ear. <laughs> Yeah, what up, get him Jones? Got home, nice. I also got home, just got home from work about an hour ago. Just started streaming. This is a number one contenders match to see who faces the Lobos this Sunday at Warzone for the World Tag Team Titles. Oh, going for a shoulder block with Jay saw it coming. And I'm not talking about Jay Uso. Oh, going for the sledgehammer. Woo! Nice moonsault by Anthony Walker. Pile driver. Looked like he wanted to go after Jay, and then he's like, you know what? Let me in end this right now. There's the fresh uh freshly squeezed cutter. Forgot what the hell, <laughs> what the hell he used to call that, because he didn't have that move last season. And there's the good night, sweet prince. One, two, three, and the mafia are the number one contenders to the world tag team titles, and will face the Lobos this Sunday at Warzone. Gonna be a hell of a match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring first. She is Heather Ray. Heather Ray, who, who beat the women's champion, or not the women's champion, the women's intercontinental champion. Was it last, last Monday or no? No, it was last Monday. Because she was in a tag match on Friday. Or was she in the tag? She was in the tag match on Monday. No, she was in a tag match on Friday, and then she faced Mandy Rose last Monday. So yeah, she beat Mandy Rose, the women's Intercontinental Champion, last Monday. So she'll face the winner of Brooke Danger and Mandy Rose after Morrison.
at her opponent. She is the women's European champion, Colleen Masters. Heather Ray feeling confident. Last Monday, she defeated the women's Intercontinental Champion. Now she wants to go go up against the women's European Champion. And also getting a tag team win this past Friday. Modified back suplex. And now Heather Ray. Oh. No, if Heather Ray wins this match, she'll be in line for a women's European title shot. Which would, would be perfect for her because after Warzone on Sunday, I'm going to be separating the brands, doing a little draft off stream. See who goes where, and if and like the WWE champions, they'll be secured to their brand. So the women and the men's Intercontinental champs will be on Mayhem, and the European uh, champions will be on Chaos. What's up, Sophia? Heather Ray focusing on that arm. Woo! Her Karana by Colleen, the women's European champ. Colleen going to the top rope. Heather Ray getting up. Meteora. How you feeling, Sophia? Straight jacket, German suplex by Heather Ray. And now looking for the finish. Ooh. Oh, almost pinning the women's European champ. And she calls that move. Blood Parade. Her finisher that she did, the Deep Six, she calls it Blood Parade. I had to look it up on her Twitter. <laughs> Hope you feel better, Sophia. Oh, Heather Ray setting up the champ. Oh, going for a DDT. I'm going 
for a suplex, but a nice counter by that champ into a chop block. Modified AMK. Oh, what a combination by the champ. Nice counter by Heather. Beautiful tornado DDT, her version of a uh, AMK, and then the crossroads, which she calls the roads to hell. Heather Ray pinning the European champ, and there's the women's intercontinental champion getting some payback. After what we just saw. Mandy Rose do to Heather Ray. I'm booking this right now. Heather Ray does not have to wait till after Warzone for her shot at the Women's Intercontinental Title. She's gonna get that shot this Friday on Chaos. And the winner of that match will defend against Brooke Danger on Sunday. So, you heard it here first. Heather Ray, Mandy Rose, this Friday for the Women's Intercontinental title. The following contest is a triple threat. Number one contenders match. And since we know who's going to face Ray Wolf this Sunday, this was going to be number one contenders match for that title. But we don't have a challenger for the European title. So the winner of this match will get a European title shot this Sunday. So already or making his way into the ring. He is. Boom. Whoever's European champion or intercontinental champion at the end of Sunday, they'll be locked in to their brand. So, whereas Intercontinental Champion will be on Mayhem automatically. Whereas European Champ will be on Chaos automatically. Next, representing the Blackout Brotherhood, he is Billy Paragon. Former European Champion in Glorious. Till I'm victorious. And their opponent. He is the glorious Robert Roon.
glorious. The only thing that will be pain till I'm victorious. Who is going to punch their ticket to Warzone and fix or get a European title shot? And Robert Rude getting out of that, connecting with the inverted DDT. Connected with the knee right there. Oh, suplex by the glorious Robert Rude. Boom, trying to steal one. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Headlock spin. Not an elimination style. It's pin first, pin fall to a finish. They want the tables, he brings out the ladder. talking <laughs> there it is now we're talking oh. That cross face chicken wing, but boom, breaking it up. Oh, going for the quick pin. Ooh. Oh, both men doing. Doing well, one was going for the cave in, the other was going for that running knee. Ten the glorious Robert Rude pull off or steal a victory here. Oh, multiple elbow shots at the score.
Robert Roode in control right now. And decides to look for something under the ring. Oh, there's the SKS. Breaker by Robert Reed. Oh, and boom, tossing Robert Reed onto the the ladder that's bridged between the ring and the and the announcer's table. Getting in the way again. And Boone taking advantage. And Robert Roode getting right back in there to break it up. Oh, he was going for the glorious DDT. And now, Billy Paragon looking to land. Oh, never mind. Barbara Rude's like, nah, bitch. A sledgehammer shot. Oh. And now going for the crossface chicken wing. But a matter out there, you gotta do it in the ring. Oh, and the SKS. Did he did both his finishing moves on the outside. Not very smart by Billy Paragon. Unless he has multiple finishers stored. Going for the glorious DDT. Oh, hits him with the neck breaker. It's like I love that the ref slides like that, but he takes so long to to start the count. That's the annoying part. Oh, the mandible claw! And Billy Paragon is your number one contender for the European title. It was your winner by submission and the number one contender to the European Championship, Billy Paragon. What a win. Are we looking at the next European champ? This 
is your co-main event of the evening. Scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring first, being accompanied by Selena, the women's world champion, Selena Perez. From Beverly Hills, California, Beverly. I was going to say her name from last season, which was Beverly Beach. But she goes by the name only Beverly this season. Selena Perez coming out with Beverly. Want to get want to get a closer look at one of her opponents from this Sunday. And she'll be defending her women's world title against this woman right here, Megan Starr, and Lola Buns, who we saw um, in a match earlier. And her opponent from Vancouver, British Columbia, Megan Starr. Beverly tossing Megan Starr over the top ropes down to the concrete and then stomps on the arm. Come on, let's go. Selena needs to keep a close, a close eye on Beverly also because she is the holder of the women's key to the asylum briefcase. She could cash in on her anytime. connects come on let's go oh going for double stomps but nobody home Woo! 
pop-up power bomb. Is that gonna be it? Oh. DDT. Irish whip in the corner. Oh, big elbow. Ooh. One, two, three. Bottom rope, moonsault. Two, three. Beverly with the win over Megan Starr. Possibly the next women's world champion. But here is your winner, Beverly. Who can also be the next women's world champion if she cashes in on one of or whoever is the women's world champion. This is your main event of the evening, scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring first. He is the LC, the undisputed LCW world champion. Chris Danger. And we saw Chris Danger earlier when he attacked me, Local Joe, during my entrance against Mass Terror, who he's going to be defending that title against both me and Mass Terror this Sunday. So he already interfered during Mass Terror's match on Friday, and then he interfered during my match by attacking me from behind during my entrance. He's got a couple of angry opponents. He's defending that title against on Sunday. Chris Danger defeating Mass Terror the night after Local Mania. And defeating me when I tried cashing in the key to the silent briefcase on him. Whoop that trick. 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 And his opponent representing the Blackout Brotherhood. He is Pharaoh West. Whoop that trick. Whoop that trick. There's, if you want to follow my socials, that's right there.
co-worker wants me to hop on for some Fortnite. So I will do that after after the stream. Will Pharaoh Wes whoop that trick? Here we go, the world champion, the undisputed world champ, Chris Danger going up against Pharaoh West. I can feel a cramp. Oh God. Okay. I might have saved myself right there from disaster. <laughs> Pharaoh West. Or you might know him better as Hollywood West from last season. Oh, nice counter by by West. Woo! A double a double Pele kick. Farrell West possibly looking for a future world title shot. <laughs> and now looking to drop him in the danger zone, and he does. Now the ground and pound. Do it. Woo. Connects with the elbow to the back of the head. And now they're going to drop him in the danger zone. This time on the concrete. West don't mind winning by count out. A win's a win. Woo! Nice springboard drop kick. And now taste the danger. Using his own finishing move on him. Woo. <laughs> and now busting him. Busting him open with that last shot. And now the Gator Roll, made famous by the late great Luke Harper or John Hubert. Oh, two. Chase, you. Oh, missing with the double stomps. And missing with that uh, tornado DDT. Oh, nice. Nice arm drag takedown. Or modified arm drag takedown. Oh, there's the danger knee. And Chris Danger with a clothesline to the outside. And now looking to fly. Oh, and Crash landed on the concrete. Oof. 
And Smiley rolls him back into the ring. Oh, there's the Claymore. That's his finishing move. One, two, three. Oh, and a spear. The danger me. Oh, he's going for the super kick. And there it is. Is that going to be it? Double Pele kick. And now the wheelbarrow face plant. counter oh both men were going for their finisher oh discus or oh, was a discus elbow I die by Pharaoh West. And there's the Hollywood bomb. Well, I don't know what he calls it now. But that's what I, how I remember it as the Hollywood bomb. Yeah. West filling it right now. He's got the champ on the ropes. Oh, what a spine buster. <laughs> and smartly rolls him back into the ring. Looking to finish him off here. Going for the West Bomb. And connects with a V trigger. Oh, what a combo! Sandra, take down. 
Oh, he's going for a belly to belly suplex. And oh, there it is. Right in the middle of the ring. Two. What a main event this has been. There's the West Bomb. And now going for it again. Ooh, that's it. He's knocked out. One, two, three. Pharaoh West with the victory. Here is your winner, Pharaoh West. What a way to end this episode of Mayhem. I will be back on Friday. This Friday, the women's intercontinental title will be on the line. Mandy Rose defending against Heather Ray. You don't want to miss it. Yo, I'm seeing all red. Got my vision blurry from the anger in my head. I'll never be second best They gon' learn today what it feels to regret